So what do you think about Obama? Barack Obama? Yeah. cornerstone of the church is Jesus, right? Yeah, the cornerstone of the church is Jesus, but he said the cornerstone of his agenda, you know, is the peace pact with Israel, which brings forth the new world order, too, in the middle, middle half of that, you know, it'll be great tribulation, the kingdom of the devil, cornerstone of his kingdom of the devil, you know, he's just mimicking everything Jesus does, that's what uh, the Antichrist and the devil does. And, uh, there's a lot of people that thinks that he could be the Antichrist. Uh, myself, I don't think he's serving this country any justice. Well, I mean, I liked him as far as listening to him on TV at first, you know, but I got realized, man, I need to forget about what they're saying, but I know the Antichrist will be very intelligent, true, telling the people what needs to be heard, but then they'll do the opposite. And he's, uh, you know, this whole world has always been in uh, war over, uh, you know, sin and transgression of the law is sin. Uh, and I know the Antichrist has to be very intelligent and true about the law. Well, Barack Obama, he surpassed every other student in Harvard University in the law. Hmm. And uh, it said he surpassed every other student. This one student said, man, he was way higher than we were than about the law, you know, so he's very intelligent, true, this man is. And he's already got a peace, Nobel Peace Prize. Yeah, that's what I don't understand. He got a Nobel pre Peace Prize, but uh, he, he ain't done nothing for peace. No, <laughs> no but see, these, these great big elite group, real rich people, the, I don't know all their names, the Rothschilds, the Bilderbergs, the... Uh, all these people, these fucking bones and Freemasonry, the main men, the main Satanist groups, the elite groups, billionaires, they've got, you know, their man, evidently. They're giving him the peace pact and peace. But, uh. Huh. I don't know. So there's uh, different reasons why, you know, I was believing that he, you know, because it already said on TV, the cornerstone of his, he said the cornerstone of his agenda is the seven-year peace pact. He's already the one talking about reducing nuclear arms and all that stuff down. You know, everybody do away with their nuclear weapons. Well, that's exactly what the Antichrist is going to be doing, you know. Until he gets in power, and then he's going to go to the ultimate destruction. He's going to do the opposite of what he says. You know, he'll be prospering wherever he goes. Bask he'll be catching people that bask in false security. 
What about what about in Isaiah where it states as a uh, in one voice? Now didn't Obama say something about one voice too? No, they're always yeah they're speaking a lot about one voice lately. Yeah, it's in there. I can't remember exactly where it says it. I can show it to you somewhere. It says in one voice they all say you know. Um, it says all the the denizens of hell are there to meet you in one domain, in one voice. You know so. Yep, it sure does, yep. And, uh, and as it says, it says that, it says, uh, you made a, uh, covenant with death. It says, he's talking to Israel. But, uh, their covenant with death is, uh, Got a train yeah. going by. <laughs> the reason why it won't work is he said you you signed a peace contract and for the Syrians to to not uh, overtake us for our protection from the Assyrians. Well, that's uh, that's all them out there in the Middle East. Well, they're making the peace pact, in other words, with the new world order. Don't you find it odd? Don't you find it odd though how in September 11th of 91, George Bush Sr. mentions the New World Order, then September 11th of 2001, ten years to the day, the World Trade Centers was hit when George Bush Jr. was in office. Yeah. It's kind of a coincidence, don't you think? Well, yeah. Uh, well, it's just that. Exactly ten years, you know. That's the thing. They got an agenda to do the New World Order's agenda, and you know the New World Order is the kingdom of the devil, and there, it's on the devil's watch. He gets to get this order. He gets to get this happen like this. He looked at the, he showed Jesus that same kingdom, and through the portals of time. But he said, "If you, uh, I'll give you all these kingdoms, you'll bow down and worship and worship me." He showed him that through the portals of time, the new world order, that all that one day that, that it would be his. Jesus wouldn't do it, knowing his mission in life was getting all the cross. He did that, we'll see. Now the devil, he'll get his, his kingdom for a little while, but, uh, you know, Christ has conquered death, hell, and the grave. Yeah. yeah. And the new world order. He's conquered it, but, you know, his kingdom doesn't realize. 